Okay, roll up your sleeves now. Let's see if you've got more than 11 moles on your right arm, you could have a higher risk of skin cancer. I've done it already. I said earlier, I stopped counting at about 15. So uh, as you know, I've had a skin cancer in the last year. Big chunk out of my head. So that certainly holds true for me. Uh, but the, this this research from uh, researchers from the King's College in London uh, saying that uh, basically around 20 to 40% of melanoma is thought to arise from pre-existing moles and having more than 100 on the body is a strong predictor. And if you've got more than 11 on your right arm, apparently, that's also a good guide that you are somewhere near the 100 mark across your body. So get the to the skin specialist, I say, especially this time of year. Dr. Howard Lamb is from Skin Check WA. Good afternoon, Howard. Hi, Adam. How are you going? Good, thank you. You've seen this research from King's College London. Do you broadly agree with it? Um, I probably do because we've uh, known for a long time that having more than 100 moles is actually a very high risk factor, um, especially for melanoma skin cancer. But um, it's always been hard to basically quantify that, especially when you're talking to people and asking, oh, do you have 100 moles? It's very hard for them to judge. And so we ourselves have actually used the system where we ask them to count the moles on their arms and we have found that it is fairly accurate that if you've got more than about 10 that it probably equates to more than 100 in your whole body. Have you counted yours, Howard? I have. I don't actually have that many, fortunately. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you. Well adapted to this, uh, to this environment down here because I think this time of year is the time we should start to think about it, isn't it? Because a lot of people, I think, wait till something changes. They wait till they get a mole that bleeds or changes shape or whatever when really we should have a regime, particularly in this state, of a regular check each year. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Um, and apart from that, obviously, the protection stuff as we head into the warmer weather then the protection becomes much more important as well. Um, but obviously also being aware of your skin and looking out for changes is always an important thing. Mm. So is that, do you think we're seeing a greater awareness in this state of, of skin cancer and people starting to do these sorts of checks and start to, you know, uh, get onto this? Yeah, certainly. I mean, like the skin cancer awareness, there's um, a lot, I mean, like of publicity everywhere. Um, and so that's really helped a lot. But um, unfortunately, it's still a very big problem in Australia, those skin cancers. And it could uh, relate to uh, damage that's been done in the past. Yes, yeah, so, so well, that's true. Most of our damage is, is done when we're kids, apparently, I was told years ago. But is, how much use is it then to keep protecting ourselves at this stage, even though we might be in our 50s or 60s or even older? Oh, very useful because uh, it's actually a cumulative thing. So although you've actually had a lot of damage in the past, then it all adds up. So the more sun exposure you get, then the more likely something will crop up later on. And having that uh, sun exposure in the past has already caused a few changes, which may not lead to anything at this stage. But if you get more and more sun, then it could tip things over and something nasty could crop up as a result of that. So it's time at this time to actually go and have a check. Absolutely, yes. Uh, have a check and keep well protected in the summer. Indeed. Well, thanks for your time, Howard. Yep, that's a right pleasure. Uh, it's Dr. Howard Lamb from Skin Check WA on this uh, measure of if you had 11 moles on, the, on your right arm, you could have a higher risk of skin cancer. What I find amazing here, Chris, you walk around in this one of these most sun-kissed cities in the world, there's nobody wearing hats, mm. virtually nobody. Why is that? Doesn't you don't, look cool. Doesn't look cool. <laughs> I tell you what's not cool is getting skin cancer. Mm. You know, and I and I, as I've told people you know, repeatedly, I've got a big chunk out of my head here. I think they should could film like you know mini films of Mars in the in the crater <laughs> on my head. And uh, I for years went around without a hat. You know, and I've got reasonably sort of olive complexion, I guess, you know, as far as Scots Irish background goes. <laughs> yeah. But um, but it, it hit me, and uh, there's a couple more I'm watching as well. So and they say that once you've had this skin cancer, then you're much more likely to get more of them. Mm. So you have this, it's not just a question of going to the, the, going to the doc once and saying, oh, it's sorted, sorted. You have a higher risk of these, uh, of these melanomas and so forth. And it's not just melanomas, the, the really deadly ones, but the ones that go right down, there's a whole bunch of them. You should be looking up and getting checked. So have you had your check so far this year? Chris is shaking his head. Mm.